What's up everybody? I know, I know. I said I was not gonna post anything to YouTube while I was on vacation, and I meant that at the time, except I was gonna do a live stream. But we're sitting here on a beautiful beach in Florida. I was surfing through the internet and read something about an F-150 being in another class action lawsuit. Ford is in another one. They do have another issue. I wrote a lot of notes down here from the article I read. Um, and hopefully I can go through this pretty smoothly because I did not have a very big piece of paper to write these on. And I had to write them on smaller pieces of paper with a pencil and not a pen. And uh, they're a little moist because of the humid air. But welcome to Florida. Let's get on with the video and what's about. I'm gonna try to make this as short as I can because I'm on vacation. I told y'all I wasn't even gonna do this. So here we go. So what the lawsuit is about, it's about F-150, uh, it's a class action lawsuit about their 10 speed transmissions. Uh, now what this is affecting is the 2017 to 2019 model years. And the person that reported this said it is a life threatening uh, problem with the truck. Now you've heard me say before with my EcoBoost that I used to own, uh, there was life threatening problems with that truck. And now you have another life threatening situation in a newer model F-150. Now they're supposed to have all the problems resolved with these trucks, apparently they do not. Um, the issue is due to harsh shifting and jerking and hesitation and also slipping of the gears of the transmission in the 2017 to 19 model years and it states in Illinois. It seems like I've read before that Illinois had another issue, something about the heat record or something like that, I believe it was. I don't know why it's always Illinois, but I'm gonna say that any state could probably have this issue. I'm assuming that they didn't just ship all the bad transmissions to Illinois. I'm just assuming that's, that's probably not the case. So you could exhibit this in your truck if you live in Florida where I'm at now, I would assume. It exhibits a loud clunk or bang at startup is what he said. And um, his is a 2018 3.5 EcoBoost and has around 6,000 miles on it. So it's got pretty low miles. Now I know these trucks do learn the uh, driving habits of their owners and but you've got to figure in 6,000 miles it's going to learn your driving habits i mean you have to you have to believe that so i don't believe it's a it's a learning issue as far as the truck goes for everybody's going to say oh it needs to learn his driving habits 6,000 miles is way long enough for it to learn it and if that ain't that truck there's something wrong there uh he also says that the truck holds gears too long and it loses power um, now, in my 2011 5.0, I did have the problem where it downshifted or something too hard and it felt like you was getting rear-ended. This is a whole nother issue there. Um, at one time, the truck went into limp mode. He had to disconnect the battery and reset the computer um, to get the truck back going. It displayed something on the dash. I don't believe it was limp mode. I can't remember exactly what it said but it, it essentially went into limp mode. He had to pull over and disconnect the battery to reset the onboard computer to get the truck back going so that he could continue on his way, which is a very dangerous situation. That is what my EcoBoost did. It went into limp mode, and when that happens, you're done, especially if you're in traffic. Your truck nose dives, horrible situation. You don't wanna be in that situation. It is very, very dangerous. Uh, some other owners have said they've gotten whiplash uh, due to the poor shifting. I can see how that's possible. When the when uh, when my transmission messed up in my 2011, it really felt like I got rear-ended, and I can see how you could get whiplash um, from that situation. I mean, it, it hit pretty hard. Ford has issued two service bulletins to address this issue, so Ford has acknowledged that this is an issue, so don't think that they've not acknowledged this. Uh, the the uh, service bulletins are TSB 18-2079 and TSB 18-2274. Both say the truck has seen harsh or delayed shifting. The lawsuit uh, does not address the truck's other shifting issues. It did say that, did say it did not address the other shifting issues. Now, like I said, you know, I can't believe that they just shipped all these trucks to Illinois and Illinois is the only one that's having any problems. So if you live anywhere else in the world and you are exhibiting these problems, know there is a class action lawsuit out there right now against Ford for these 10-speed transmissions. I do have friends that have these trucks. 
I will be letting them know to watch out for this issue. If any of those people that I'm talking about exhibit this issue in their truck, I will be the first person to let you know that they are seeing this problem and it is not just in Illinois. Again, uh, check out those service bulletins um, and also be aware that this could happen to you. You do not want to go into limp mode. That is a horrible place to be, especially on an interstate. Ask me how I know. Appreciate y'all watch this video. I just wanted to get this out here to let y'all be aware of that in case you have one of these trucks because I don't want you all to be caught in this situation. Maybe check with your Ford dealership or something like that to see if they've seen this or see if there's any updates or, or computer flashes they can do to fix this situation before it arises in your truck. I appreciate you watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. See you guys next time from beautiful Florida.